The most commonly used method in non-uronal optogenetics uses light-induced dimerization. Here, a photosensitive protein domain, which is unbound in the dark, changes its conformation upon light exposure and subsequently binds to a specific interaction partner to form dimers or oligomers. The three most prominent dimerization systems are the cryptochrome system, the phytochrome system, and a variety of different love domain systems. These dimerization systems differ in molecular properties and reaction parameters, including the cofactor, the activation wavelength, the binding affinity, sensitivity, and efficiency of the light activation, the oligomerization state, reversibility in dark state activity, and some systems can even be specifically inactivated using light of a different wavelength. Both cryptochromes and phytochromes were initially characterized in plants and cyanobacteria. In plants, they are essential for the photoperiodic control of flowering and play an important role in plant physiology, growth and development. Cryptochrome homologues were even shown to control the circadian rhythm in mammals. Cry2 and Phi B are the most commonly used in optogenetics. The photosensitive domain of Cry2 can be tagged to an effector protein to recruit it to a certain cellular compartment such as the cell membrane. Inside Cry2's photosensitive domain is an FAD molecule, which is essential for its activity. A big advantage of this system is that no cofactor needs to be provided ectopically because FAD is abundant in most living organisms. We can activate Cry2 using blue light with a wavelength of 488 nanometers. To achieve more localized illumination and activation, we can also use a multi-photon laser light with a wavelength of 950 nanometers. Upon light exposure, Cry2 undergoes a conformational change and is bound by the membrane anchored of the N-terminal domain of the protein Cyb1, called CybN. The light-induced dimerization of Cry2 and CybN causes the recruitment of Cry2 fusion protein to the membrane, where the effector protein can pursue its function. The dissociation time of this assembled complex in the light is between 5 and 10 minutes. When Cry2 is present alone, it forms homo-oligomers upon blue light illumination, which are reversible in the dark. Special Cry2 mutants are more likely to form homo-oligomeric clusters and can be used to focally enrich target proteins and to activate signaling of enzymes whose activity depend on protein density. However, depending on the target protein, clustering can also negatively interfere with cell signaling, for example, due to steric hindrance. The phytochrome system is also based on light-induced dimerization. Upon light activation, phytochrome B, or Phi B, binds the small phytochrome interacting factor. Phi B is activated by red light with a 650 nanometer wavelength and has a big advantage that dissociation can be triggered specifically by far red light of 750 nanometer wavelength. The dissociation time of the already formed dimer in the dark is as high as 18 hours. Similarly to Cry2, Phi B forms a complex with a cofactor called PCB that is essential for its function. However, this cofactor is a compound only found in cyanobacteria and plant chloroplasts. Therefore, PCB needs to be delivered ectopically to turn the inactive apo Phi B into the light-sensitive holo Phi B. Only once PCB is autocatalytically ligated to Phi B will Phi B interact with PIF upon red light exposure. Holo Phi B can then be used to recruit fused target proteins to specific sites of the cell and to actively release them again upon far red light illumination. We can also use love domains, for example the eyelid system, for light induced dimerization. In contrast to the other systems, the eyelid system is an engineered dimerization system which exploits the ability of AS Love 2 to unfold upon light exposure. This causes unmasking of a hidden binding site of a protein called SSPB, which can be tagged to any given protein of interest. Similar love domain based heterodimerization systems include the magnet, the tulip, and the love trap module. Homodimerization systems, such as Vivid, also exist and can be used, for example, to cluster receptor tyrosine kinases and activate cell signaling.